There ain't many things better than making a 147 at snooker, and today I'm going to be showing you how I would go about making that magical 147 break. This is a type of opportunity that when it presents itself, the first thing that comes to mind is a 147. You've got maybe six, seven, eight reds out in the open. The black is not tied up, so there's no excuse for not being able to get a red, black, red, black. So we have a simple red to start off with. And each ball that I part will be played with a stun screw or a run through shot. I've screwed back a long list line here to try and leave myself a perfect angle to either just follow through or ideally I would have liked to have been here. But the whole point of making a 147 is always trying to leave yourself options. A bit of screw and a little bit of side to bring me over towards the black. Now I'm going to play a slight little run through. Trying to always leave myself an angle on the black. You don't ever really want to get straight on the black because all you can do is go forwards and backwards if you're straight. There you go, straight in the middle. A lot of people always ask me how many shots I'm thinking ahead and in this instance I'm thinking I want to clear this red, get onto the black to get on this red. So three shots ahead here. And I've got on the black perfect. I'm using that red as a blocker to stay on the black. And this is where I've made a mistake, I've tied this red up. I've now got this plant in the middle, which should free up a couple of these reds. I've got a slight angle on the black, which is going to take my white out to here. And we're going to play for this red in this corner. I've left myself a slight angle on this red here, so I can either stun it in, or I can just run it through and play a little cannon off of this, which will open these two up. So I think I'm going to play the little cannon shot. Oh, got through the gap. I've got myself a tough shot on this red. I've managed to pot that one. And it's vitally important to get an angle on this black now to dislodge these two reds because it's into potable position. It's come out perfect. Oh, left myself a bit of an angle there. Too much of an angle. So what I might have to do here is screw into here, try and flick this red over the corner. Screw in on the floor, and you can't play it any better than that. I've managed to pot 14 reds, 14 blacks. I've now got the perfect opportunity to pot this red, get myself on the black. Now the difficult shot here is leaving myself the right angle on the black to get to the yellow. But at this point, adrenaline is taking over, so you're thinking, I've just got to trust my ability now. Now I'm going to run through a sequence of how I would normally pot the colours. So here we have the yellow. A lot of the shots that I've been talking about all through this break have been little soft stun screws, so it's very important you start to try and perfect that shot. But again, a little soft screw to try and leave yourself a nice angle on the brown to take ourselves from blue to pink. It's very important we stay this side of the blue. If we come round here, and it means we've got to go all the way around the table. And again, you want to leave yourself just below. About there is okay. So now I'm feeling really confident. I feel like I'm, I'm probably just one shot away now from actually making the 147. And that's the shot. Now you can't foul. Nice and firm. Straight through the ball. In it goes. And there you go. A 147.